but a very unintentional walk for Jim Davenport forces Philippe Ballou across and the Giants lead. Philippe Ballou also pounces on Ford's first pitch for a shot past Cleet Boyer. Killer holds up at third. Then with two men on, Willie Mays comes through with a single to center field. Killer comes on to score, and the Giants even the count at two and two. This brings up the next batter, Alou. Marty Alou. A right fielder, a left-hand hitter. He'll be followed by Willie Mays, the Say Hey Kid, the center fielder for the Giants. Alou up there, they playing strictly for a pole hitter in right field. Two nothing, Alou waiting. Here's the pitch. He bunts the ball down the third baseline, and I don't believe they're going to get him. No, sir. The third baseman come charging in there. Freeze. Tried to grab the ball barehanded and couldn't hold on to it. And Alou with two strikes on him now, friends and neighbors. Get this with two strikes on him and a man on first base. He bunted down the third baseline and beat it out for a hit. Philippe Alou of the Giants makes his debut with a fly ball that Leon Wagner corrals in right field. Wills tags up and slides safely across the dish for the game's final run to give the National League a three to one decision. And soon after, the Giants responded by rewarding their new home with a pennant in 1962. After whisking the flag away from their old nemesis, the Dodgers, in another dramatic playoff, the Giants went into battle with their other old neighbor, the Yankees. Mickey Mantle and Elston Howard of the Yankees seem confident. And so does Philippe Ballou of the Giants as he warms up. In the Yankee third inning, Tom Trash lifts a short pop fly toward right field. Chuck Hiller races out. Philippe Ballou comes charging in. Ballou dives and comes up for the ball. Philippe Ballou pushes a sacrifice bunt to Dale Long that moves Hiller over to third base. Ralph Terry tries to hold Hiller on third, but Matty Alou grounds to Richardson, and Hiller scores to give the Giants a quick one to nothing lead. Philippe Ballou opens the Giants' second with a hard smash down the third baseline, just out of the reach of Cleet Boyer. The ball bounces into the left field corner. Tom Tresh runs it down, and Alou holds up with a double. Matty Alou bats for Jose Pagan. With the count two and two, Matty slaps the ball just inside third base. It goes down the line for a double that sends Davenport to third. Ford faces Philippe Ballou, who smashes the ball toward third. Cleet Boyer dives for it, but the ball caroms away. And Ballou is safe for the hit. Then there's a pickoff attempt at second base by Ford. The ball sails wildly into right field. Philippe Ballou scores all the way from second. Matty Ballou leads off for the Giants in the ninth. Beats out a drag bunt. With the score one to nothing, he represents the tying run. After one bunt attempt, Philippe Ballou swings away. The Alou brothers, Jesus and Matty. These were the giants of San Francisco. And many of them rose to rookiehood and stardom right here in San Francisco. He slides, he's in there with a the second run. Ballou slides in the home. For the second run for the Giants on that tremendous line drive in the right field that Robinson came in and grabbed on the first hop, put it into the plate, but not in time, as a speedy Alou scores from second base. Philippe Alou and Orlando Cepeda lead the Giants in home runs with seven. Willie Mays, Willie McCovey, and Ed Bailey, all three have each sack six. Another of the bustling Braves to hit over 20 home runs in 65 was first baseman outfielder Philippe Alou with 23. The former medical school student from Santo Domingo is a strong hitter and displays tremendous speed in the field and on the base pads. Alou should be a key factor in what manager Bregan describes as a faster brand of baseball in the upcoming season. Bunt, hit and run, and squeeze the life out of the opposition. Alou's late season injury severely handicapped the Braves as they scrambled for position in the pennant race last year. Philippe Alou, outfielder, 23 homers. Now here's the top batter in the major leagues this year, Matty Alou of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Three brothers from one family, the Alou family in the major leagues. Matty Alou, 
Felipe Luz with the Braves. Adrian Lou with the Giants. And he's hitting 344. He's a singles type hitter. Hits infield bounder, little line drive, pokes the ball around. Fouls the back. Wants to throw every pitch that's ever been invented. And everybody that's ever hit at him said if he just stuck to the fastball and curveball, he'd never give up a hit. There's a backhand and grab by Campanaro. Safe at first base. Watch this in slow motion. This is what they call that bang-bang play at first. Pee -wee. You better believe it. Watch Campanaris. He goes a long way for this ball, and Manny Alou can fly. Watch this now. Watch him get in position. Braces himself on that right foot. Get something on the ball. Watch this. Just barely beat it. And that's how he hits. He hits him left and right. High hoppers and beats him out. Good hitter. Ground ball, and it's a base hit into right field. Robertson scores. Mazeroski heading for the plate will also score. No play as Alou goes to second on the throw to the plate. And the Pirates now lead it by a score of three to one. Matty Alou is the only Oakland starter with previous World Series experience. Played with the Giants in the 62 World Series. The strike. Two away for Oakland, eighth inning. Nobody on. They're leading two nothing. He lines it to right field. That's the first hit for the A's since the third inning. There goes a little big jump. The throw, and he's in there. He stole on the pitcher, not on Johnny Vance. Tremendous jump. Alou had made his initial move even before Hall made his motion to the plate. Vance really hurried his throw, but no chance. Base was stolen on Hall. Bench could have made the most perfect throw in history and never gotten it. Jesus Alou batting for Davileo. The infield is still in. Runners on first and third. The ball to Jesus Alou. Oakland ahead, two to one. They're trying to stay alive. There's a fly ball to left field. They should score a run. Hanging up is Jackson. The catch by Jones. The throw goes to second base. And getting back to first for Gene Pennis. The A's lead three to one. A sacrifice fly for Jesus Delu. Philippe Delu has been sent to the Montreal Expos and Matty Lou to the St. Louis Cardinals. And of course, both those teams in contention in the National League. And quite a tribute to the Alou brothers that teams in contention want the two veterans to help them down the wire. Jay Stadium would welcome a host of new faces in 75. Veteran pinch hit specialist, Jesus Alou. Let's welcome our manager, Felipe Alou. third base 14th inning 1-1 one, one, one out swung on it deep to left field way back it is a grand slam home run by Cicero has won the game for the Montreal Expos with a grand slam home run in the 14th inning Aiding the turnaround was a man named Alou. No, not Moises, who was a rookie that year. His father, Felipe, who took over a most familiar team as manager in late May. First at bat of the night for him. Swinging a drive into the gap in left center field. And up against the fence. This could do it. Being waved home is Gwynn. They got a play to Rodriguez. Safe. September, Moises Alou was stretched out on the turf at Bush Stadium, dislocated left ankle, fractured lower leg, his leg grotesquely twisted, and you would have bet his career was in jeopardy. He has come back to hit 331 with 18 homers in the first half, and to drive home the game-winning run with a double to left center in his lone at bat. And the new pitcher batting in the number four spot, right-hander Mel Rojas making his 37th appearance. Two and two at 12 saves. ERA right at three. 
The league's only hitting 211 against Rojas, averaging almost a strikeout per inning. He has 12 saves. John Wetland has 13. Rojas, another player in this Montreal team, around whom a lot of trade rumors were circulating early in the year. But I think as the Expos stay in this race with the Braves, I don't think they're going to be parting with guys like Mel Rojas. He's very valuable as a setup man or as an emergency closer. Among the current Braves, in fact, there are only three who have ever gotten a base hit off of Rojas. Rafael Belliard, Mark Lemke, and Charlie O'Brien. Everybody else is 0 for something. And that's all for Blauser. Rojas records the strikeout. Two gone. Up the middle. Hamilton comes on. Here comes the runner home. Oh, and hits the mound. The Marlins win. Sheffield scores. Party time in South Florida. What a time to get your first postseason hit for Moises Alou. Does Dante Powell was in center field and you talk about a break? Doink! Perfect throw. The ball was right where it was supposed to be. Hit the mound. No chance. See you later. 2-1 pitch. Hammered to center. Grissom going back. Looking up. Out of here. For the second time in this World Series. Moises Alou wallops a three-run homer off Oral Hershiser. Hargrove's lead is gone. Watch this. He goes right there. Look at that. Everything's perfect. Breaking ball out over the plate. He keeps the front shoulder in and hits it out. His first at bat, he was just pulling off. But he was very patient there, keeping that front shoulder in. And I could see the approach was much different in this at bat. They knew it was gone when he hit it. Yep. There's a Lou. He knew he got it. Yep. Three runner again against Hershiser. What a year he's having with 93 runs batted in. He's hit five homers in his last 11 games. And he really was all smiles along with the other Astros position players to greet the news of Randy Johnson being acquired in that trade. Moises Alou is a guy that can think into the opposite field, stay there, and if he gets fooled, he has the hand quickness and the power to pull a ball that's up in the strike zone out of the ballpark to left field. It into left field. Looking up Kona. Cubs lead by two. That's exactly what we're talking about. Thinking the other way, but a ball up in the strike zone, a hanger. Looked like a breaking pitch to me. Thinking opposite field, but getting fooled just a little and pulling the ball to left field for a home run. Serious strength, tremendous bat speed from Moises Alou. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing. Giants manager, number 23, Felipe Alou. Now the starting lineup for the Giants. Batting fourth in his Giants debut in right field. Number 18, Moises Alou. Second and third with two outs. This is the same spot. Alou was in in the fifth inning. However, there was only one out. This will be the third straight at bat for Moises Alou, where he's got runners in scoring position. That's a fair ball. to deliver the game ball, please welcome former Giants manager, a forever Giant, Felipe Alou. No Brooklyn Dodger ever had a 30 game hitting streak, which is amazing yeah. in that ballpark. Hit in the air to right center field. That's deep. Back goes Kearns back near the wall. And it's out of here. Beltron and Alou go back to back, and it's 3 0 New York. Royce Salou now with a 30 game hitting streak. Fastball away, and last night he went the opposite field, and he does it again tonight. We are confident that with Luis Rojas as our leader and as our manager, that we will have many proud moments, and today is about introducing 
our own Luis Rojas as the new manager of the New York Mets. First of all, uh, I want to say thank you, Brody, for those kind words. It describes me uh, really well. Thank you. This is very exciting, guys. This is a very exciting day for me. This is a dream come true for me to become the New York Mets manager. I want to thank my father, who taught me the game of baseball and life and helped me balance that throughout this journey. He was my example to follow the whole time. Still will be. All the teaching, all the lessons that I got from him, it's helped me a lot throughout this journey. I want to say thank you to him.